The gentleman from Vermont I just, rise. I rise to speak in support of the amendment. The gentleman from Vermont. I wonder if right. I could question the gentleman. From the gentleman. I am rising in support of the, the gentleman, amendment. The gentleman, the chair is in charge. The chair is speaking. The gentleman from Vermont has been recognized for a period of five minutes, and you may now proceed. I thank the chairman very much. I would like the opportunity, if the gentleman from California would respond, just to ask him a brief question, if I might. Now, my ears may have playing, been playing a trick on me, but I thought I heard the gentleman a moment ago say something, quote unquote, about homos in the military. Was I right in hearing that expression? Absolutely. Putting homosexuals in the military. You said something about homos in the military. Was the gentleman referring to the many thousands and thousands of gay people who have put their lives on the line in countless wars defending this country? I'm was talking, that the group of people that the gentleman was referring to? I'm talking about the military people in the military do not support That's not the what we were bill. talking about. You used the word homos in the military. You have insulted thousands of men and women who have put their lives on the line. I'm talking about I you and liberals like you that keep the foreign defense. Gentlemen, I would Gentlemen, reclaiming my time, Mr. Chairman. Gentlemen, one at a time, you may reclaim your time. You may I proceed. would also say that if my friend, in support of this amendment, if my friend from Oregon was involved in the nuclear freeze movement, I want to congratulate him. There are millions of Americans who wonder about the wisdom of spending millions and millions of more dollars building more and more nuclear weapons at the same time as the Republicans are cutting back on Medicare, Medicaid, and student loans. Furthermore, I find it incomprehensible that at a time when the vast majority of the people in this country are terribly concerned about what's going on in the environment, terribly concerned about the environmental implications of nuclear energy, that the American people do not know what is in their waterways, and that various military installations might be exempted from federal regulatory practices. So I very much support this amendment. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.